start with side at work. Hands up. Take your left hand, place it on your thigh. Place your other hand on the top of your head. Now remember, bend your legs. Don't stand up straight like this. You might see somebody in the video. Like Dustin Jugger, you might see him do that. Some of them might be doing it. Sometimes you'll never see me do this. Always keep the legs bent. Hands up here. When I say go, you're going to pull that knee up. And think about squeezing those abs. If I take the elbow over into your abs, over into your abs. As soon as I say go like this, you want to go over into your abs. Squeeze. You want to squeeze those abs. Tighten those abs up. Tighten those abs up. Ready? Let's go. One. Tighten them up. Come on. Squeeze. Go. That's it. Work it. Go. Get that hand over your head. One more. Go. Walk that up. All right. Off the other side. Same thing. Remember, when you're doing an abs, try not to just use your arms. Most people that use the tricep and the bicep. All they're doing is this. Don't do that. Hands gotta be here. So watch my hand. Move with my head. But don't go like this. You gotta move it with your head. Move it with your head. Let me Ready? Feel those abs work. Feel those abs work. One, lift it. Two, three, four, five, six. Three. All right, now place your hand here so you feel it. Place your right hand on your abs. Now feel that stomach crunch. Two, ready? Let's go. Crunch, crunch, go. Crunch. Let's go. Right leg now. 
Heel out here. Heel. Slow. One. Two. Three. Four. Six. Five. Six. Seven. Now hold it right here. Ready. Five. Six. Ready. Let's go. Walk it out. 
good job.
Now go, go. Work it. Go. Last day of eight. Work it. Go. Bicycle. Come on. Thank you guys for tuning in to the cardio ab burner workout. Thank you guys for doing it. I really appreciate it. And remember, guys, I don't take it for granted. You guys give me the opportunity to come into your living room. I don't take it for granted. God has blessed me to be able to teach people fitness from the inside out. And I've been able to help millions of people all over the world. And now you give me a chance to come into your living room and help you. I just want to say keep up the good work. May God continue to bless you with all that you do. And just remember, when you feel like you want to get down, Find something that will turn you up. And what it is is your voice. Speak life to your life. It says in the Bible, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Those who love it will get its fruit. And God always uses fruit because fruit have seeds. When you plant a seed, what happens? It grows. So what comes out of your mouth is a seed. So make sure whatever comes out of your mouth is something positive, not negative. Because all negative is going to do is make you not have a good place, be in a good place. Think about your household. If you're in your living room, you don't want... Your, a bad juju in your living room. You don't want it in your house, period. I was telling the people earlier today, 
inside your house is joy, peace, love, kindness. Make sure it maintains staying in your house. Remember, this is the hard times of life, but in your house is where you live. So you live in your house. Make sure you have that joy, peace, happiness, kindness living inside your house. Every morning you get up, speak life to your life. Speak life to your kids. Speak life to your husband. Husband, speak life to your wife. Husband, speak life to your children. Just keep speaking life because one day it'll be over. And I know that. But we got to make sure we're doing the right thing while we're going through this. Because when it's over, if you don't know how you got through what you got through, you might as well stay in it. But don't be like that. God says a person without a vision might as well, might as well be dead. Have a vision. Every day you get up, make sure you have a vision. And walk in that vision. And get what you need to get to help you be the best you can be. We love you guys. And thank you. We sweating like you don't know what. It was a hard workout. Even though it was 30 minutes, it was tough. Keep up the good work. May God continue to bless you guys with all that you do. Put on the power. Don't quit. Don't give up. No. Flick that switch in your heart. And it'll come on. All of a sudden, the room will get light. You got the power. Love you guys. Be blessed. Bye. Bye-bye. Good job. Good job. And, uh, my wife and daughter, they work hard. I'm in the living room with them every day. And we're doing these things to help people be the best they can be. So if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing too. So they are like my spinal cord to help me stand up strong and be strong so I can be the best I can be also to help you guys. So keep doing what you're doing. Sometimes you might see me yelling, but I'm only yelling because I want them to be their best. And I want you to be your best. Be blessed. She's only 11. Only 11 years old. But you know what? Most 11 years old, you know what they are doing. They're on the computer, which is okay. 11-year-olds, get in the workout. Start changing your life. Make that computer be a good thing, but be a, make it be a good tool that will help you become a better person. Love y'all. Bye.